Billions of people still rely on dirty energy at home. Cooking with polluting stoves and fuels is a major source of air pollution, killing millions through heart disease, stroke, cancer, and pneumonia. Women and children spend the most time in and around the home, making them especially vulnerable. I have invited ministers of health and energy, heads of international and philanthropic organizations, and other health and energy champions to join the high-level coalition on health and energy. Our aim is to strengthen cooperation between the health and energy sectors, increase political momentum, spar investment, mobilize public support, and drive practical solutions on the ground Having access to cleaner cooking fuels decreases the health risks associated with inhaling harmful smoke and reduces the risks of gender-based violence as people, especially women and girls, no longer need to collect firewood far from home. Our women here rely a lot on biomass for their primary energy needs. This is claiming many lives due to avoidable pulmonary diseases because of household air pollution. We need the solutions. We need to give dignity to women and we need to save lives for women and children. Access to clean energy services, including clean cooking, can save lives and time, allowing women to pursue educational, family and leisure activities. It also offers significant empowerment opportunities for women. Children and young people pay the highest price. Clean, sustainable energy is critical for children. This is not only because it reduces pollutants that harm children and helps reduce emissions that contribute to the climate crisis. Reliable, affordable, widely distributed sustainable energy will move consumers in poor households away from burning firewood and coal. Investments will reduce poverty contribute to more inclusive, sustainable growth and generate great health benefits. Clean energy for these communities would advance health development as well as climate goals. And we, politicians, members of cabinets, have a great responsibility to facilitate this approach. If we do not spur action by 2030, 2.4 billion people will remain without clean cooking services. If we as a global community do not meet this challenge together, we will be undone by it altogether. It is gratifying to see so many leaders come together to advocate for rapid, sustainable and equitable change in this area. In 2021, the High Level Coalition on Health and Energy unanimously endorsed the strategic roadmap to promote healthier populations through clean and sustainable energy through three priority actions. First, dramatically increase investments in electrifying healthcare facilities and clean cooking. Second, provide the funds to design and implement clean energy plans tailored to the needs of the health sector. And third, develop tailored policy tools to unlock the potential of clean energy and address health sector needs. The Clean Cooking Alliance is proud to work alongside WHO and the HEPA Coalition to incentivize clean cooking transitions and support governments in setting clean cooking priorities and implementing supportive policies. As a global champion on energy access, the Netherlands calls for clean cooking solutions and for access to clean energy affordable for all. Ghana is taking tentative steps with the support of Korea. We have distributed 500,000 cook stoves across the country to support our health and our women folk from being injured by wood fuels. Amro apne anu bawle pani swachcha urja ko prayog le jan swasthya ko bigrado avastha ko ullekhniya rup ma sudhar garna sakinchha ra hal ko dal vidyutto uplabdhata le yo sambhav pani cha. Nepal sarkar le Samridha Nepal Sukhi Nepali ko sapna saakar parna Urjat Bhaha Jalvidu Dasak 2018-28 ko ek hissa ko rupma san 2022 sammama 
हर एक घर में बिजुली को पहुँच पुर्यावने रब घर दूरी में विद्युत बा खाना पका प्रवर्धन करने लक्ष्य राखे केन्या विल कंटिन्ू टू चैंपियन दी एस्टाब्लिशमेंट अफ एन इंटरनेशनल डे फर क्लीन कुकिंग टू हेल्प रेज अवेरनेस एंड मोबिलाइज पोलिटिकल विल एज वेल एज रिसोर्सेस फर क्लीन कुकिंग We're working to ensure integrated energy plans include access to clean cooking and leading innovative approaches to data collection. We will provide better evidence on the benefits of increased access to clean cooking to convince policymakers to raise their country's ambitions to prioritize cooking. The transition from a traditional cook stoves and the fuels will help to reduce poverty. improve livelihoods drive gender equality reduce environmental degradation and provide major health benefits by 2025 with an investment of 24 billion US dollars a year together we can ensure that no one's life is limited by how they cook WHO thanks all members of the high level coalition on energy and health and all of our champions and stands ready to work with you towards a cleaner, healthier and fairer future. I thank you.